trouble when you buy stuff to set up. Your brother. Nice to meet you, man. Stop it! What is it? What the f is that? So we're trying out a Wednesday car boot sale today, midweek. Give it a bash, it's very early. Nobody's here. We'll still try it out. How oh, are you, go, boy? Good, good, you alright? Yeah, good man. Don't forget the parcels, we'll buy you early, get the best one. See what's around, that's exactly it, mate. That's how it works, you know? Oh, what, these things? They're amazing, mate. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have a gamble later. These just to... undelivered, uncollected. They are amazing. You watch them all sell out in an hour. I'm gonna buy some for content later. Oh, that's it. Are you got a channel? Yeah. So have I. What's yours? My TikTok has got six million and forty-five thousand followers. Six million? You, you wanna? You, I believe uh, me. No, I believe you. I've got six million likes and forty thousand one hundred followers. And what oh, I do? Oh, forty thousand followers, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But listen, sense. when people find the diamonds, yeah. I put them on my channel. So I've had a geezer find an 18 carat gold ring Rolex as I stick one, but they were like, it's two pounds thing is, thing is, but never mind, never mind, it's all good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get some later though, just for a bit of video. I'll tag you in it. I'll get your details and I'll tag you in it. I will get nothing. How much is the camera, mate? Uh, that one, that could be um, 10 pounds. And how much is the leap pad? Uh, that could be 10 pounds as well. It's got the games as well. 10. Any good jewellery on there? No, just costume jewellery. I get up when I get up to it, yeah. What about this compass thing? Oh, so the compass, the road, that's okay. Uh, the compass one, that could be three pounds. Three. And what about this one? And that could be two pounds. So what's that? 15, isn't it, so far? 15. Do you know much about the history of this one, mate? No, nope, no, it came straight from the clearance. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll put it back nicely, I'm going to have a look at it first though. That's okay, not a problem. And how much is the hat? Uh, that could be uh, four pounds. Four. Right, I'll take the camera and the two comfort things. I won't bother haggling, I can't bother. It's too early. Um, it's too early for a discount on it. <laughs> so. 15. I'm going to ask, would you chuck that in for another fiver? I can't do it for five no? pounds. Okay, I, I'll do it for eight, but I won't do it. No, it's okay. Cast. It looks weird of him on there, doesn't it? Yes, it does, but Thank it's you, mate. Be. I appreciate it. That's okay, no problem. That gets the ball rolling for the morning, doesn't it? Well, it does. I'm sure you've got some more stuff coming out. I'll come and see you when you're finished. Yeah, that's okay, no problem. Are you all right? Yeah, not yeah, bad. Yeah. Sound? <laughs> you all right? <laughs> you, you travel around, didn't you? Oh, that's why it's all wrapped up. Yeah. I, thought, I thought you might have done it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I brought it, never used it, not once. How much are you asking on that? Five for that. No, ten for that, sorry. Ten, yeah. Yeah, I might go to eight. I'd have gone for it out of five. How much is this? That's 15, that is. I know I ain't got the battery, but that's 70 odd quid. Is it a floor buffer, isn't it? Yeah. Well, a floor buffer, don't buffer. Are you getting anything out of here, mate? Not yet, no. Mind if I look at this one here? I don't care about the rest of the games. Fat fingers. How could you have that for? Purple, yeah, I'll do that. Have you? Yeah, Should have brought them all there. Your grandson, he can do it. Yeah, fair. Cheers, mate. All right, matey. Always got to ask first, didn't you? <laughs> How much on the little calculator thing? There we are, my love. Pound. Pound? Right. That's for you, my love. All right. Thank cheers. you so much. Thank you. Any cow hides today, ladies? Yeah, no cow hides today. I was going to zoom in on that. I was going to make it a feature. Oh, I'm sure you were. I'm not a Get out of it. Stop it. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a phone, mate. Yeah. You give it a bash for two quid. Why not? Absolutely. Spent more on junk food. <laughs> yeah, too right. Gosh, that's going up and up and up and up. All of it, isn't it? Yeah, it makes you shiver when you go to a world's shop. Gone to sh world's gone to. Yeah, it does. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> yeah, the world's gone potty, mate. Yeah.
There's yeah. just bought four of those mystery parcels. No How much are your games in here, mate? Two pounds each, buddy. You do three for a five, mate? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, buddy. Thanks, dude. This one, you done well? It's not open, is it? Mm, really? No, not really. How much for the little teddy? My daughter's got that one, but the big version. She'll lose, her, she'll lose her mind when I bring the puppy home. Ada, I think Pop Dog's had a baby. <laughs> I think Pop Dog's had a baby. I think Pop Dog's had a baby. <laughs> oh, thanks for the teddy, mate. She'll love it. Have a look at these teddies, mate. Have a look at these. All right. How much are the Teletubby ones? Two pounds each. Two each. Buy more, get a discount. Yeah, mate. That's alright, dude. That's alright, mate. What about this one? That's uh, how much I buy that for? Pound fifty for level four. Hello. How you doing, man? You alright? Ah, oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Tight loads of you, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet What's you. What's your name? Jay. Jay? Yeah, second hand Saint. Yeah, yeah. Second hand Saint in the UK. There you go, then. There you go. Nice to meet you, bro. Sorry, what about six for the Teletubbies in the bag, mate? Uh, you do seven. Seven? Yeah, we'll do seven. What have you lost, man? I might have seen it. Is uh, No, it wasn't when I was there. There you go. Mm. Two. Cheers, thanks, thanks bro, I appreciate that mate. How much are your dinosaurs mate? Oh, yeah, they've got nice. prices on them. Yeah. That's nice and easy, isn't it? Yeah. Nice and easy, nice and spenny. It's all that in the window, it's not real. No, of no, course no. not. Nice little jacket though. Yeah. What? School holiday bedroom clear out, is it? Yeah. We've just done the same. How much is the Lego, mate? That's three pounds. What about these kits? Three pounds. Um, I've got some... Get out of it. <laughs> of course it is, yeah. Would you do seven on those, mate? No. Eight? No. Sticking with the three each, yeah? Yeah. Well, it's worth an ask, weren't it? I lost that battle quite quickly. Cheers, mate. No, you're crying, mate. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. There's a lot of air activity around here, isn't there? I know you said it was your first one, so good luck. Yeah, it is. We're excited, aren't we, babe? Yeah. Just get some pennies for some new clothes. How much is Mr. Burns? Six. Six. Excellent. Excellent. Not for me though. <laughs> That's the trouble when you buy stuff to set up. Of course, yeah. You, you, you did the same thing, didn't you? You got a margin there. I emailed you yesterday, yes. actually. You emailed me? Yeah, but I'm not very good with emails, so that shit. But um, I bought some football shirts, some signed football shirts. What did you email me on? On um, the. Oh, I'm not on my business one. Hold on. Yeah. Sorry, mate. It's a pain in the ass. If you, if you saw my notifications, it would have been the same. Oh, yeah, Tony. That's me, yeah. Bought a load of football shirts, signed shirts. Oh, yeah. I didn't know if they were worth anything. I don't know about signed stuff, to be yeah. honest. It's one of them, it's like, I know there's a piece of paper with it, because me and my mates could sit around and sign that t shirt, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. You don't know, do you? Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, good no, to meet you, man. Yeah, so, yeah, sorry I didn't reply yeah, to you, man. No I appreciate I like it. Videos, Cheers, dude. Yeah. I mean, Nick, I mean, I've seen others. See you, mate. Mate, always a pleasure, you know who I am. Thank you so much. I think I'm going to call that a day, a morning. Got a few bits. It was worth the drive, I think, as long as everything works. We'll see if we find out when we get home, won't we? I'll be honest, that car boot sale is about as good as my Welsh accent. Which is mediocre, not terrible. Oh. So as with many midweek car boot sales, Wednesday car boot sales, it's mainly traders. And I knew that as I was going in there anyway. This chair spins on its own. So I was never expecting to get anything fantastic, although I did. I'll show you. Pickups were few. 
couple of fails as well. So without further ado, as they say in the YouTube sphere, let's get cracking. This was a bit of a fail because I didn't look at it properly. I just saw it was the NEC office phone and they sell quite well to be fair, like 20, 25 pound. It doesn't have the AC adapter. I've got tons of them, so hopefully I've got one. This costs two pounds. If I've got the adapter, 18 quid, 15 quid just for a quick sale. If I haven't, then it'll sit on my shelf until I do, which could be one month or a year. And then when I finally do find one and plug it in to test it, it'll be broken. Ricky, you never pick up Teletubbies. Why don't you do it? Now I replied and said, I'll only ever pick up Teletubbies if they come in the set of four, which here we are, Tinky Winky, Dipsy, La La and Poe. In case you didn't know which one that was. Battery is on its way out in there and there's no way to change them. And this one is dead. 2017 they were made. He wanted two pound each. I bought that plus this Chucky backpack from 1999 still has his sandals on. All the ones I've seen online, they've all lost their sandals. I paid, so it would have been eight, nine fifty. I paid seven pound, I think, for it all. Now I know I'll get the seven pound back immediately on the Teletubbies, plus a bit more, hopefully, and then this will be profit. I should see 20 quid back out of this one without a problem. It's in really, really good condition. Three for a fiver on these PlayStation games. Now, I know they're not worth that much, but they are in minty, minty, fresh condition. The discs look almost brand spanking new. The only issue with any of them is a little bit of wrinkling on the GTA 3 one. But I'll load these up together and go for about $9.99. And I've never seen that one before, so I just picked it up just in case it was a, a good one. And it's not nice, about five quid. Psyops. So nothing drastic. It just averages the price down of all the stuff overall the more you spend the more you buy it brings the price down on everything once you get around to selling them we motion motion plus opened but never used in there paid two pound for that they sell for about eight or nine quid as they are but i'm going to find a remote control clean it up bundle it together and go for about 15 to 18 i think that's the going rate price correct me if i'm wrong but i already know the answers when it comes to listing i will never get it spot on every time in here sometimes i'm going by feeling by knowledge by previous knowledge which the market may have changed since then when i give you prices take it with a pinch of salt and don't come up <laughs> like there was a guy that i'd sold the rick and mortys i sold everything cheap all them funko pops cheap 25 pound for a set of rick and mortys one of the comments i got was this is no hate just pointing it out I thought Rick and Morty sells for £60. But my response was, probably does, mate. But mine sold in a couple of hours. Hello? What is it? Can't see it. I don't know what that is. don't know. Oh, look at your pretty makeup. Wow. What have you got in your hand? Mm. Pop dog baby. Go outside a minute while I finish this. I'll be out in a minute. Love you. Ah, daughters. Don't forget, I also picked up some mystery parcels, so we'll go through those as well. Mystery parcels. Sharp Memo Master 100 paid a pound. I should see nine to 12 pound back out of that one quite easily. And some rottering stuff. We've got a nice little compass one here. I've done some research on this one as much as I can, and there's only one show up. Okay, darling. Yeah, let me finish my video. Go outside a minute. I, no, no, show something. Baby Buttons. I didn't know it was. This is Baby Buttons. Oh, okay. Let me finish this. I've, and, and do you get. No, don't do that. Under. Well done. As I was saying, I've only found one listed of this, this exact set. It says it was a T80 or something like that. No, that's Transformers, not Transformers, Terminator. But that's listed for like £88, $115 or something. And then this one, Rotring is a really, really, really good brand. If you ever see it in the wild and it's cheap enough, take a gamble on it. I think I paid £3 and £2 for these. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's going to be worth what it says it's worth online. And if it's worth £80, I'll list mine for £45. And the same with the other compass. That was the guy that I picked some else up for. I paid three pound each for these. We got a Revel kit, still sealed. 
I don't mind paying three quid because you know they're worth more than three quid regardless. Some are worth about a tenner, some can be worth up to a hundred and some a pound. And another rebel kit, this is the James Collects, sorry, not James Collects, the Bell. Same thing, innit? The Bell uh, 1D. Three pound each on those. And with that, I purchased a 1997 Lego system for three pounds. Still sealed, sealed up. So any Lego collectors want to get a hold of this one, holler. Yeah, a little bit of crunching on the box there. But nothing drastic. It's from 1997. It's allowed to have a little bit of marks and stuff, isn't it? Picked up, listed and sold in the same day. Mark, massively appreciate you. As you can see here, I said I didn't know the true value of it. I was seeing pre-owns were going for about 15, but I couldn't find the new in-box value. So I just went for 10x my money and I asked him cheekily for a free education and he was happy to give it to me. And as you can see, I'm always happy to give you guys bargains. If I can pick it up cheap enough, as long as I can make a little bit, I don't care how much you guys make on it. Happy to give back. The amount you guys give me is incredible. So where I can, I'll give you back. And it seems to be that the best way I can do that is in bargains. So thank you very much, guys. Love you all. And the final pickup before we get into the mystery parcels. Lovely bloke he was that sold them, by the way. Is this Samsung digital camera. Digicam. Takes a take. But it is in the most pristine condition I've ever seen a camera come in. It turned straight on. It's even got the screen protector still on it. I've been doing some testing videos. It is just immaculate. It comes with two sealed Sony DVDs, tape cassettes, whatever you call them. Still unused Samsung strap. It's got the chargers, the charging base and everything with it. I paid £10 for that with the guy that had the rottering stuff. Just because of its condition, there's none sold that I can see. Similar ones have been asking for like there's a, somebody's got one upstairs and repairs for 49.99 because of its condition which is honestly minty there's not scratch on it there's not a mark on it there's not a fingerprint out of place fingerprint out of place there's not a fingerprint on it there's not a thing out of place i'm probably going to list that for 99.99 and just get it shifted or maybe 120 take offers fantastic little pickup that was and it came in a little bag for it to be all kept nice and neat now, let's get into the mystery parcels. Notifications. Spat it for them. I say that's everything. I think that's everything. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is. Let's get into it. So I picked up four. It was four for a tenner. Now, I said to the bloke, I was quite, I was quite open with him. I said, look, mate, I'm very aware of how this thing works. You know? I'm not, I'm not daft. Let me tell you something about these mystery parcel deal. Now, the guy's lovely. Whatever it is that's in there, they probably are worth £2.50, which is, you're not losing out of money, are you? But a lot of them won't be worth 2 50 But anyway, let me tell you something. When you get, when you see these big bowls of parcel in the car boot sale, and you see mystery parcels, unreturned parcels, undeliverable, you've got to use your common sense for a little bit. All right? Anybody who's got access to genuine undelivered parcels, a big stack of them, and doesn't go through them first and cherry pick all the good stuff before sticking it out to you for a mystery bundle is daft and nobody would do it. Everybody would go for it if they are genuine return parcels, which I think are really hard to get hold of, to be honest with you. I don't think it's even possible, but I'm not too sure. So what you'll tend to find with these sort of things is everything that had a genuine sticky seal, they will all be opened up, retaped back down, some of the stickers will have the same addresses on them. There'll be reprint stickers. And it's just filled with nine times out of ten, tat or something fun. You know what I'm saying? It's like the new version of the Lucky Dip. Remember when you used to go to the car boot sale? Well, I do anyway when I was a kid. And there used to be a Lucky Dip store. You pay a pound and get three dips or whatever it was. And you just it's the same. It's just, it's just today's version of a Lucky Dip. Yeah? Some of these people may promise you PlayStations and all these kinds. You never know what's going to be in it. Trust me, it's all going to be Amazon crap and bulk wholesale junk or secondhand whatever. But it doesn't mean that everybody doing this is a bad person unless they're promising you stuff. It's just it's a bit of fun, you know what I mean? But let me tell you something. These undelivered parcels are never undelivered parcels. It's just trash. So let's go through them. I'm going to go with this one first, only because I can kind of feel what it is. Oh, and another thing to look out for as well is the same colour tape. You know, like this, for example, brown tape, brown tape all over it. You know, people go through stuff, so whatever. This one I'm going to go for because I can feel it's a pair of sunglasses, so it's kind of like taking the 
mystery away from me. I'm gonna lower the camera. Now remember, these were two pounds fifty each, and it's a bit of fun. It is just a bit of fun. If you're buying these, hoping to get rich off them, that's your problem. That's your problem, not the sellers, unless they're telling you that everything's got some amazing in them. So here we have. Get off. A pair of sunglasses, although I don't hate the cut, the, the shape, the shape of them. Yeah, what you say, I like them. And some, what the? F Ice Silk Invisible Ship Socks. See, just a bunch of old crap. Look, Amazon stickers, look. Amazon stickers. So what they probably are is Amazon returns and then marketed. I quite like, I quite like these. And then marketed as undelivered parcels. All right. It's a load of old bollocks. This one feels like clothing sort of thing. It's been sellotaped down and ripped open there to see what it is. Do you know what I'm saying? It's going to be some polyester Timu jumper. Yeah, look, poly fucking Esther, like plasticky polyester. What is it, the Hulk? Avengers. Oh, just junk, just junk. But it's fun. I'm having a great time. What's in here? That's why it's a mystery, because I don't know. But again, let me reiterate, if you're buying these expecting to get rich and make profit, not really. Although I might get five quid back on Vinted for that Marvel stock, you know. 4 99 What are these? And you never know, you might get something that actually is useful, like... Oh, I thought that was going to be... Oh, it's... They look like throttle pedals, like clutch, clutch and um, accelerator and brake pedal covers. All with Amazon stickers on. What are these? Some Chinese Macy opened up. What are they fucking swimming hats? Is that a swimming hat? Black one and the pink one. What is that? Is that a mask? What is that? Fuck. Mother-in-law's just turned up. She's going to disturb us. I reckon that's a mask, you know. Put it over your head. Do a bank up. Just tried to get that on my head. No chance. And last but not least, we saved the big one until last. It's going to be a crappy old jigsaw puzzle, I reckon. You can see it first. Am I rich? Am I loaded? Is it? Is it a Game Boy? Oh, sorry about that. <gasps> what is it? What was it? What is it? What the fuck is that? Is that a soap holder? Some, uh, uh, it's got like weird little stickers. I don't like that. I think they are Apple Apple over the year headphone covers. I think that's what they are. Them Apple Pro, whatever they're called. What's in here then? The Apple Pro. It's the cardboard box as well. Whatever it is, you've got to screw it to your wall. I think it's a bathroom shower. I could actually use that. I think it's a uh, bathroom shower corner holder thing. Who knows? But I spent a tenner on all that. So I think the, I think the geezer's TikTok name is. Dean's, Dino's Choices or Dino's Versions. Dino's Versions, I think it is. I'll put it up here. Really nice guy. Talks about the world's current events and stuff. And he's a lovely chap. He's got a real positive vibe. But um, if you watch this, mate, come on, that's the that's, the, that's just the way these parcels go down in it. I was aware. It's just a bit of fun. So all you lot that are buying these, hoping to get rich, you ain't gonna. You ain't gonna. You ain't gonna. 
already, please do make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm going to go see if I can make some home movies.